Welcome to the podcast has been named one of the best in marketing research. This is Research Business Daily Report, the research industry's only daily research video blog. And it's made possible by the exclusive community at our crowdfunding platform, patreon.com forward slash RBDR. I'm Bob Letterer for more than 25 years, the respected voice in market research. While it may irk or even offend some researchers, I think there's something to be learned in listening to some prominent would-be market research users who explain why research has no value to them, especially in their developmental work. Take Tesla founder and SpaceX CEO Elon Musk, who told a group of assembled outer space entrepreneurs, yes, you heard me correctly, he was speaking to outer space entrepreneurs recently, that he avoids research. Musk trusts his own gut and expressed that if he himself doesn't love his own product, quote, you should not expect that others will. Scott Mautz, a P&G marketing director from 2006 until 2016, was there and listened to Musk and summarized for Inc. this morning, quote, that Musk's argument for ignoring consumers isn't that they are wrong, it's that he believes that he is right. Writing for Forbes, Alex Knapp quoted Musk as conceding that day, I'm not trying to think of myself as a great expert on leadership. We're doing okay, but we make a lot of mistakes from what I can see. So, well, maybe Musk should be using more research for his own purposes. Moving on, Matthew McCarthy who had 22-plus years under his belt as a Unilever executive before becoming CEO of Ben & Jerry's Ice Cream in mid-2018, says he had to learn, adopt, and adjust to entrepreneurial values that the company's founders, Ben Cohen and Jerry Greenfield, swore to. One of those values is the possibility that market research for some brands can make them mediocre which is a reason that uh, Cohen and Greenfield never relied on it. I find it interesting that the Ben & Jerry's brand clings to a role that's been in place since its inception back in 1978, namely as a disruptor in the gourmet ice cream market. McCarthy has come to believe that not relying too heavily on consumer research actually provides important freedom for the Ben & Jerry's ice cream team in R&D, to come up with some wacky flavors, which he claims continue to stand out in a competitive market. So there you have it, two viewpoints from two different individuals of some renown about why market research may not be valued by them. That's your Research Business Daily Report. It's been made possible by our exclusive community at the crowdfunding platform patreon.com forward slash rbdr. We know RBD, our viewers, appreciate our reports. Some go so far as to share them with peers and friends. Now, it's important for our viewers to support us, as many do, and that's why we keep talking about Patreon. We have a group of supporters, and we call that group Patreon Supporters. This week, we're welcoming Kathy Allen and Decision Insight as our latest members of that group. Thanks very much. Now, logic tells us that the five-minute average video length for RBDR is perceived by many viewers as time well spent, or why would they watch day after day? We also know that RBDR viewers share our videos internally with peers and friends. That's a second key piece of evidence about the value we bring. Sharing an RBDR video with a client is a third very credible proof of the value of RBDR. And if you forward an RBDR video along with a message that more or less says that that particular video brought that particular client to mind, well, we've heard time and again that it results in a very positive reaction. So there are three solid reasons to support RBDR. And all you have to do if you want to is visit patreon.com forward slash RBDR. Take a minute and become a sponsor yourself. We hope you have a great research day, and we'll see you back here with us tomorrow.